So, what is it that you can tell from a name, Katie? I think you can tell a great deal from a name. You know, for me, there's certain names that I hear, and I hear them, and I think, ooh, and, and it's associated, ultimately, it comes down to the mum or the dad, because they're the ones that gave them, the child, the name. But when I hear screeched across the playground, you know, Tyler! Come back here. You know, it's that. It's that's the Tylers, the Charmaines, the Chantels, the Chardonnay. And there's no one shouted out, Esme, come back here. I don't hear that so much. Really? Nor do I hear Ileana trot back here. You know, you don't hear that, do you? But you hear Tyler, come here. You know, that. And for me, that summarises everything. A name for me is a shortcut. It's and a really does, efficient does... way of working out what class that child comes from, do I want my children to play with them? And why would you well, say, so if you then, from that, you go, OK, well, they're in a lower class than I am, why do you then not want your child because to Because be... associated with that isn't just about class holes, it's about the fact that they probably haven't done their homework. When my daughter <gasps> comes home from school, she'll say, oh, Tyler was a real pain today, let's say, because he threw his books across the class and the teacher had to lose her patience. There's a whole set of things that go with children like that that are quite a disruptive influence in school and that's why I don't like those kind of children. But Monty and Ileana can still be nasty self-centred airheads, can't they? I tend to think children that have intelligent names tend to have fairly intelligent parents and they make much better play dates therefore for my children. Or... Or, oh, sorry, pardon. <gasps> I say, we wouldn't say that word. Would no, not at all. I think, you know, if you look across... Nasty? The... If you've got the, you know, this, the class system at school? I think if mothers were honest with themselves when they vote on that worm of yours and they say, oh, um, their child comes out and says, oh, let's say a name, I don't know, Simon has asked me to come and play on a play date and the mother will say, well, where does, where does Simon live? What that mother is not... She's not asking about geographical location. She's sussing out... Do we want to be playing with Simon or not? Anna May. Hello. Go for it. This is snort-worthy, Katie. I mean, I just can't believe that you're such an insufferable snob. And I can tell you that if you do let one of your little darlings go and play with a working-class child, they almost certainly won't come home singing, my old man's a dustman. It's safe, really. Nothing's going to happen to them. Working-class children are doing incredibly well. And for you to categorise at state schools, and for you to categorise them because of their names, which they didn't even choose themselves, is, is cruel and unkind and so snooty. You're, it's just so old-fashioned. And, yeah, I don't know who your children are mixing with, but... It's not your fr the children's friends who will make them do well in the end. And I can also tell you that on Friday I was at my daughter's graduation. She qualified as a doctor. I've got two doctors in the family, went to state schools. I'm the daughter of an Irish immigrant. And there were Dr Kylie's graduating, Dr Charmaine's. So tell me, if you were sick or one of your children was sick, would you let a Dr Kylie treat your children? Or would it be too appalling because they're working class? Well, the lawyers I work with, I can't think of a single Charmaine, nor a Kylie. Okay, I don't my... meet many <laughs> myself. Um, I meet Charmaine, a lot of ratios. Charmaine Cree the Australian Paralympian gold, silver and bronze medalist, Tyler Cowan, New York Times journalist and professor of economics, Brandon Flowers, musician, lead killer, uh, yes, lead singer of the killers. You, so, you say that to me and I, and I hear those names. I mean, I think it's probably what we all associate with children we know that have those names. I hear that last name and I think, hasn't done the homework, will always rock up late, has the mother signing in. Reason for being late, are running your, late. Are your opinions not really restricting your children? They are, but you know what? But, the, but the, we haven't got a lot of time. That? We haven't really got a lot of time. Why would you do that? that? We are really time short in this world and we need shortcuts to make that's decisions. why you shouldn't be sneering it's very at people Katie. it's, it's about very sneering. quick it's about making fast choices for your children that you think are for the best I and know, one my day friends, they get to do their own thing my friends at primary school are all were from all sorts and they're the people who've seen me through my life through illness through bereavement through having my own children and i now i don't even think about where they came from what their names are they're just my dear dear friends mm. and you're really robbing your children of the chance to be decent human so this beings is all it's about noble. kindness this is it's all, not noble it's I'm all a very I'm a pushy mum, I'm a self-confessed. It's very real. It's I'm a no, self-confessed pushy mother. I don't I'm a working-class you know girl. I don't buy you that. You must have missed that, that mum so come much in your life. life. If I you don't see that, that as great being real. Together, ladies, you're all together. Sorry, I can't help but get involved. When parents come up to me, they'll say... I read your article or whatever about, you know, what children are called and the fact you wouldn't let your children yeah. play with them. And they'll say, I wouldn't say it, but that's what I do 
snobs. Well, tro snobs loads attract snobs. What can we say? Loads of women are doing the My same thing. My name is Anna May, and I was not allowed to play with certain children when I was at school because their families knew I was an Irish immigrant. And yeah, I have to say that me and my children have gone on to do a whole lot better than some of their children. Now that's not bragging, that's just a fact. So they should have really betted on me because I probably would have helped their children do well. All right, Katie, so uh, that's your view on Christian names. So what happens about the surnames then? Do you judge someone on their surname? That's sinister. Surnames? No, I mean, I don't really get involved in surnames. I don't really know many of the surnames of the children that my of the friends of my children, so I wouldn't judge them on their surnames. It's just you're on very dangerous territory. You start to judge someone on their surname. Well, you? as I said, I don't judge people on their surnames, but certainly I do make a very quick decision based on their first names. And there's a whole bunch of first names that I don't like. I don't like footballers' names. I don't like names after seasons of the year. I don't like geographical location names, celebrity names, things like Apple, things like, you know, Tilly Fizz. Or Jolly Apple, whatever they've decided to call their crazy. Poppy. My child's called Poppy. Yes, it's a flower. It's a flower. A geographical not classical. Seasonal. No, no, no. Not, they're not I mean, like Latin. Poppy's quite. You jolly. should call to the Latin name for Poppy. That would be really posh. interestingly low. Other people have criticised me for calling her Poppy because they say Poppy's a naughty name. So, so you like, parents you criticise each geographic other. Geographic stuff. Geographic. Oh, so Brooklyn or London. Your or child's called India. Yes, but you know, <laughs> that's because she's, it's not related to a, a location. That's because it's India related isn't to a location. Family. No. What, are we talking about education? India's a very, very lovely name for a very lovely child. I right. think Katie I think, was on gas I and air think, when she chose those names. Uh, yeah, I, do, I think you'd f s sort of, it's a little hollow. I, think, never do it I think you've chosen beautiful names for your children, and I would never think to judge them by that. I do until judge I met children them. by their names. That's I do terrible. make assumptions, and lots of Listen other parents do. Listen to what you're do. saying. You judge children. Yes. On their name. Yes, Holly. Katie, yes, I do do that, Holly, it's because it's extraordinary. Where does it get you, Katie? Where does it get you and your children to do that? Where, how, not where, to how is it moving you forward? For me. It's, a, it's about the fact that it makes me allowed to make very quick decisions about whether the sort of children that I want my children to be playing with. Are quick decisions always right it. decisions? Quick, you've made a quick decision. And I have. It's I've managed rubbish, to fast forward. Really? I mean, it's funny that we call our children names before we even have them, before you've even taken a look at your child or give it a name. I think well, that's this is you have an issue with people calling their children names that may mean beautiful or something. Well, you end up with a terribly ugly kid called Bella. It's quite strange. Uh, so cruel. I can't, I can't go. My, yeah. my, my daughter's Seriously. called Belle. My daughter's called Belle. Philip, you have a funny face. Well, I, no, I, I just I, I only just... <laughs> well, my, my yeah. daughter's called Belle, so that you would maybe have an issue she's with that. She's probably quite beautiful, Holly. But, Take but beauty, a look at the mother. But she has a beautiful soul. She's beautiful. But she's a beautiful child in many ways, other than the way she well, looks. Okay, and I'm sure, Holly, but I can't envisage a child of yours not being. But when well, I see Tyler, so and Tyler's mum, it's a very different thing. Katie, are your children only allowed to play with good-looking children as well? No, because clearly... So you let, you let the lug, ugly ones in, as long as they're posh. I have posh. to. Yeah, I don't have a choice posh. in that matter. Let's as long as they're posh the doing their homework. To. Well, as long as they're doing their homework, they're at school on time, they're dressed in they've the got right uniform, prospects. they're trying hard, they've got good prospects, they've and got attention parents. parents. Don't like, those things don't are like mine. bingo. Yes, parents don't like bingo. Stop, check it out. Let's have a look at the worm. Let's have a look at the worm. What have you been saying ahead? Should you judge a person by their name? Anna May, 91% agree with you. 9%? To be honest, I think that worm might be called Tyler. <laughs> That's all I've got to say on that I word. Like that worm Tyler. is never my friend. You can't. I do like the name Tyler. Right, right, let's go see what Stephen thinks in the hub. Thank you. Well, let me tell you, this is going nuts. Um, you've just been told about Tyler. Well, Katie, Tyler has emailed. Good morning, Tyler. And uh, Tyler says, how dare you? I've just got my PhD and I'm from a very working class family. What a sweeping statement that you are making. That's what Tyler thinks. Um, I'm just going to keep saying Tyler. Um, Emma Dilton, I'm guilty of this. My nine-year-old made friends with a girl called Chardonnay and my stomach turned. I completely judged the poor children, but alas, I was right. She was expelled last week. <laughs> wow. And uh, last one for now, Maddie Roberts. I hate to admit it, um, but I do agree with Casey as well. So I just done that one. Um, Amy has emailed, who cares if a child has a name that you don't like? Francis saying to your child, you're not allowed to play with that boy because he's called Brendan. I quite like the name Brendan. Keep your comments coming in. One point, final point here. So if, if your child, um, if India or Poppy or Maximilian come home to you and say, my best friend, uh, Chardonnay, uh, would like to come round for supper. Oh, that wouldn't happen because I'd have shortcutted that out a long time before. We don't achieve best friend status with Chardonnay. But you can't later Someone on, named after later wine on. is not coming through our home, are they now, Philip? No, and she probably eat her peas off a knife anyway, Philip, Philip so she wouldn't last. Mm. She's more of a she probably black tower or a blue nun. Oh, stop. Stop right there. Thank you very much. Right, Darren Brown is here after the break. <laughs>